I think if you were to ask me what I do, uh, I, I'm an artist primarily, I'm painting, and that would be in the studio or on the streets. Public spaces should be used for the public to engage with each other in, and if you look globally, the street art scene is huge, and there's a lot of like really, really high quality work being done. It's really like a new art movement that a lot of people just uh, can't get their head around yet, but I think in 20, 30 years, you know, people will be reading about it in all the, the art history textbooks. I embrace the, the fact that uh, the work is temporary on the streets. I'm also specifically often f looking for places that are broken down factories or perhaps I know they're not going to last very long, you know, like old rusted metal gates and things like that. And I really like the idea that um, there's something so fragile about it. And for me, that's kind of like life, you know, you can't hold on to things. So if you get to see that image while it's in its space at the right time, you know, that's like a, a special moment. And, yeah, there's something quite um, beautiful about the fact that it's not permanent. I think one of the most important things that's really kept me painting on the streets over all the years and like all the different phases I've been through is the fact that um, it's such an experiential art. You don't just go and paint your work and then come home. It's like you really meet interesting people and they'll be like, little kids running around or like gangsters come to talk to you and like all the aunties and it's something that uh, painting in a studio you just can't ever experience that. I chose that location because of the fact that there's just so much rubble and it's so broken and the, the image is quite a kind of religious, spiritual image and I just thought that the contrast of the two uh, would work well together. I, I try not to have very uh, boxed ideas about what I do. I let the, the style and the formats and the textures I work with and um, the mediums I use, I let them change as much as they need to.